Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 17 Franchise Mode with your Columbus Blue Jackets. Unfortunately, the Columbus Blue Jackets aren't playing very well halfway through the fifth season of Odd Man Rush in charge. We are going 2017 and 4 with a team that's actually one of the better teams we've ever had in this Franchise Mode series so far. So hopefully the Columbus Blue Jackets can pick up the pace and get back on form in the second half of the season for a playoff push. So we're going to go up to the NHL trade deadline. We need to see where we're at with the teams and where we're going. So we start with an away game with, against the Philadelphia Flyers. We lose 3-0. Brilliant. Great start, guys. Nick Ritchie, I stick him on the first line and he gets himself injured. Perfect. Right, we'll go best lines then. Away game against Ottawa, a 5-2 win. Good. Bounce back from that shutout. Home game against Edmonton. We win 2 nothing. Brilliant. An away game against the Habs. How will we do here? Oh, the Cleveland Monsters are playing very well as well, though. So that's good. A 4 nothing win. Two straight shutouts. Perfect. Now we've got a divisional matchup against the New York Islanders. We need to make sure we play well here, lads. Come on, Columbus. An away game. An overtime win. Good. Four straight wins. That's exactly how I wanted to start this episode. We dropped the first one, but we go on a four-game win streak. Let's make it five. Home against Pittsburgh. Come on. Let's beat the Penguins. Beat the Penguins. Beat the Penguins. Home against the Penguins. We win 3-2. Away against Washington. We lose. So we were on a five-game win streak. Get right back on it with a win against Carolina. Go on. Win against Carolina. Win against Carolina. Win against a 3-1 loss. We've lost against Carolina every time this season. So we lose two. We pick up another one. Good. 26-20-4 and four so far this season. Anton Forsberg has been injured. Wow. The only goalie I have down there has been injured. We have an away game. We're at MSG to play the New York Rangers. Come on. Let's win this game. 5-2 win. Perfect. Forsberg's back for the Cleveland Monsters. And a home game against Boston. We win 3-1. Oh, we're starting to pick up the pace. I said we needed to have a better second half than we already have. Home against the Arizona Coyotes. We lose 3-1. Home against the Dallas Stars. Oh, David Savard's been injured. Bollocks. Home against the Dallas Stars. We win in overtime, 2-1. Still a win for me, especially against Western Conference teams. Doesn't matter. Home game against Washington. Uh, Sonny Milano's been injured. Perfect. Home game against Washington. Home game, a 3-1 win. Brilliant. Oh, hello. Right, so the trade deadline's getting pretty close. And Matt Zuccarello is up for offer. The 86 right winger. Now, I'm not really too keen on that. Purely for the fact that we don't need another right winger on our team. We just take a look at the right wingers on our team. Let's just take a look, shall we? Right wingers. We've got 89. Oh, Braden Shen's up at an 89. Perfect. 89, 86, 85, 84. We don't need, we don't need another 86. Like, we're fine there. However, if we were to look at their centres, because we could do with a better centre on this team. So, Binajad, Derek Stepan, JT Miller. JT Miller would be perfect. However, he's injured. Pavel Bushnevich, he's still an 82. Nah, nah, I don't believe that. So no, there's nobody I really want to pick up at the moment. We'll take a look around the league for centres when the trade deadline hits. So home against the Calgary Flames. We're on a two-game win streak. And we that win streak is completely obliterated. But I think we've hit our 30th win of the season, though. We'll scout forwards in America for three weeks. Yep, 30 wins so far this season. That's good. Got a couple of away games now. First against Vancouver, then against Anaheim. Against Vancouver, a shootout loss. Against Anaheim, a 6-3 loss. We get one point out of a possible four there. Oh, hello. So, the Calgary Flames want to offer us Michael Furland. They want to give us a left winger. Michael Furland is 80 at 28 overall. And they'll give us a third round pick for some of our prospects. You're all right, thanks, Calgary. Okay, let's take a look at the Edmonton Oilers now. So, away against the Edmonton Oilers. We need to start getting some more wins here, lads. Against Edmonton. At Rogers Place, I believe. McKinnon's injured. Great. A 2-1 loss. Right. So now all of our star players are starting to get injured. We're going to be losing. Right. McKinnon was only out for a game. Nope. I don't want to give you Zuccarello. Oh, I don't want Zuccarello. Thank you. He's a great player, but I don't need him. Nathan McKinnon's been injured again. Perfect. Home game against the Islanders and a 3-0 loss. See, we're losing all of our good players. We went on a mass, or a really good run and now we've we've dropped like six straight games. Against New Jersey, we need a win. Good, a shootout win. Perfect. Home against St. Louis. We need a win there. We need a win against St. Louis. Come on, boys. Kosmachuk. Kosmachuk is a fringe NHL player, isn't he? 
Like, you're, you're giving me all these fringe guys. Oh, he's 84 overall as, at right wing. Uh, he's got... Wow, he's actually had a pretty decent year. 15 goals, 16 assists. He's got one year left on his contract. I mean, that's not too bad. He's a two-way player. But Carney is 68 and 19. He was drafted recently. And Staples, nah, I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. Might make that deal soon. Okay, against St. Louis. Come on, we need to squeak out a win here, lads. Squeak out a win. Mitch Marn has been injured. Perfect. Don't want Cosma Chuck right now, lads. Good, a 7-1 win against the St. Louis Blues. That's probably the first blowout win we've had this year. So, looking at the teams. Oh, we are three points out of a wild card spot. This is going to go right down to the wire, whether we make the playoffs or not. We need to take a look at this team and see what's going on. So, uh, Milano's out for nine days. McKinnon has a playable injury at the moment. So, we're definitely, we're very much playing with depth guys at the moment. Dubois, play Curdles is up at an 84, though. That's brilliant. Curdles, you're a left winger. What, your, your face-offs are 80. So, yeah, you play centre, by all means. You've got, I think you've probably got the best face-offs of anybody. You've got the second best face-offs on the team. So, yeah, you play there. Uh, Richie, you will take the place of Vertonen. How's Saad doing this year? He's only got seven goals. McKinnon has 14 goals, and Braden Shen has 15 goals. Dubois has nine goals. We haven't got enough goal scoring. Six goals there, 13 goals. So Bjorkstrand, you play third line time. Defence, how many goals? Seth Jones has nine goals. Savard has eight goals. He's up at an 89, though, so that's useful. Truba has four goals. He only has five points this year. Jesus Christ. Corpusalo, you've started 49 games. You've got 26 wins. Six shutouts. Okay. I don't really want to make any moves here, but I know we keep losing games. I'm not... I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm not... Mm, should I make some moves? Who who would I move, though? Who, who would I be trying to pick up here? I need that second-line centre, I think, is the problem. Yes, that's it. I need that... Well, not necessarily a second-line centre, but I need... I need a... I need like an 86, 87 rated centre. That's what I need. That would definitely solidify this top six. That's what I need. Okay, and now we've got loads of injuries as well. So we're going to try and find an 86 rated centre. or an 80, We'll try an 87 rated centre. We'll look for an 87 rated centre that a team would is either, that he's either not happy playing on or he's wanting to... Make a change. So, 87, Ricard Raquel. So, he's the only one on the Anaheim Ducks. I doubt they'll trade their only decent centre. Uh, nobody on the Arizona Coyotes lineup. We have David Krejci. Patrice Bergeron has dropped massively, but that's because he's getting old, as has David Backus. Okay, what about uh, Boston? They have Jack Eichel, Ryan O'Reilly. I don't really need those two, and they have too much trade value for me anyway. Uh, Jordan Stahl, Victor Rask. There's a lot of tr there's a lot of trade value there though, but Victor Rask would be a nice pickup for this team. Uh, Sean Monahan would be nice, but too much trade value again. Uh, Chicago, they've got Jonathan Taze, of course. Ah, DeBrincat, 85 at 23 overall. That could be one we look at. That's one we're gonna. That's one we might come back to. Uh, Carl Soderberg, 86 at 35, and they're actually wanting to give him up. He's a second line forward. He's got two years left on a massive contract, though. Nah, I'm not going to go for Carl Soderberg. Too much money, in my opinion. Tyler Sagan, Cody Eakin, nope. What about Detroit? Dylan Larkin, Athanasio, Nolan Patrick. He's 83 at 22. Wow, he really hasn't grown as much as they thought he would. Oh, Sam Gagne is on the Detroit Red Wings lineup. Nice. As is Matthew Perot, I think. Is that Matthew Perot? He's 79 at 12. No, that's a different Perot. Uh, Dylan Larkin's the only one there. We don't really need... Well, we... We do need him, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dreisaitl, 85 at 25. They've got a bit of a log jam there at the centre position in Edmonton, so Dreisaitl might be a good one. Barkov, Bukestad. Bukestad would be a good one, 87 at 28 overall. Uh, Matt Duchesne, he's still 85. Well, he really has dropped. The Minnesota Wild, they have Granlund. Granlund might be a nice pickup, but they wouldn't really have a first-line centre after that. Um, Galchenyuk, no, wow, 94 at 27, Jesus, Houdon at 84, I don't need an 84, I need like an 87, Paul Stastny, he's too old for me in my opinion, the Nashville Predators, Ryan Johansson, too much trade value, the Islanders, they have Tavares, too much trade value and nobody else really, the Rangers, they have Zabinajad and Stepan, but they have too much trade value in my opinion, 
I mean, I wouldn't mind one of them, but they're they're too expensive. Uh, Brown, nope, they don't really have many centres there in Ottawa. The Flyers, Claude Giroux, Sean Couturier, Travis Konechny, nope, too expensive. The Pittsburgh Penguins, Rust, Brian Rust. Well, they've got Melka Carlson still there as well. The San Jose Sharks, uh, Logan Couture, but he's too expensive. Uh, Barbashev, oh, Brian Little, what's his contract like? He's only got one year left on a $6.785 million contract. He's got, wow, he's actually got some decent point totals this year. That could be an interesting pickup, actually. Brian Little, because he's, he's a second line forward. That might be who we have to go for then. Brian Little, yeah, Brian Little might be the guy. Charlie Curl, Stephen Stamkos uh, in Toronto. Kyle Turris, Austin Matthews, William Nylander might be a good one. Is he a second line forward? Yep, and he's having a decent year. Nazem Kadri, he'd probably be too expensive. Yeah, Brian Little, I think, is the guy we've got to go for. Uh, ah, Brandon Sutter. Brandon Sutter? No, he's a third line forward. Agostini. Bo Horvat. Uh, what about Winnipeg? I think Brian Little. Shifley. Tyler Johnson. Yeah, we're going to go, gonna go for Brian Little. Brian Little from the St. Louis Blues. 87 at 33. 33 years old. Right, so let's take a look. Draft picks. We're going to have to give up a draft pick. They want their third round pick from this year back. I've got two seconds from this year. So if I chucked in the first from next year, because I'm trying to go all the way here, guys. I'm, I'm trying to win something here. Skaters matching the block. Can I throw in a prospect as well? If I chuck in a, a prospect, they're in Ah. I don't really want to give up any of these guys. Ah, shit. That's not good. They're wanting... Mm. Okay, so we'll give this a try. Our first round pick from next year's draft, not the one coming up, for Brian Little. Will that go through? No, it won't. Okay, interesting. Let's just take another look. So, who are the other teams that had guys that I was interested in? Yeah, which, which are the teams that are interested in my first round pick first? The Nashville Predators, they didn't really have a guy. The New York Rangers, they have Sabinajad or Stepan. There was one team earlier, the Buffalo Sabres, but they don't have any, their guys are too good. They have Ryan O'Reilly, who's 89, I'm, I'm not going to give up that much. Um, the rest of the teams aren't really interested. Oh, who, who was the other guy that I was interested in? It wasn't Dylan Larkin, but that would be a nice pickup on the second line. He's a second line forward, and he's had a pretty decent year. Um... Uh, Bukestad, Bukestad was one as well. Nick Bukestad, 87 at 28. He's got $4 million on his most recent contract. So Nick Bukestad, ah, that's way too much trade value. We'll give it a try. Yeah, okay. The question is, what else do they want? Skaters matching the block. Seth, uh, are there any non-NHL players? Not really. Kind of need all these guys, though. That's the problem. I mean, I could... Hmm, let's take a look at our centres. I don't really want to trade away any of these guys. Uh, no. What about wingers? Saad, Richie, Milano, Bit no. Right wingers, no. You know what? We're not going to risk it. I'm not going to try and sacrifice our future. I trust that this team can make the playoffs. Even if it's by one point, I think we can make the playoffs. So I'm not going to make any huge moves. We're only three points behind a playoff spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate up to the 1st of April. Here we go. Come on, boys. So a home game against the Maple Leafs. We need a win here, boys. Here we go. Against the Maple Leafs, a 2-1 loss. Okay, that's not very helpful, guys. We really didn't need that right now. Okay, an away game against the Islanders. We need a win here, especially against the divisional team. Against the Islanders. A 2-0 loss. Fuck's sake. Of course. Of course that's the way it goes. Right, I'm going to scout defenseman in the O for a month. Oh, this is not good. At the Ottawa Senators, we need a win here. Good, a 2-1 win. Perfect. At Florida, we need a win here as well. We need a win here as well. A 2 nothing loss. If we lose against Montreal, I'm going to, going to stop the simulation and make a change. Against the Montreal Canadiens. Good, a 2-1 win. Home against Philadelphia. We need a win. We need a win. Good, a 4-3 win. Against New Jersey. We need another win here, lads. Good, against Pittsburgh. We need a win. 
Come on. Get another win here, lads. Ryan Murray's been injured. Fuck. Get another win. Get another win. Get another win. Get Yes! Brilliant! Three divisional opponents, three wins. Uh, maybe we can get a fourth against the New York Rangers. Come on. Beat the Rangers here, lads. Beat the Rangers. Victor Arvidsson's been injured. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, so we get one loss out of the four divisional games. Away against Minnesota. We need to win games like this as well. Good. A 6-1 win. Perfect. Away against Chicago. Come on, we need a win here as well. Victor Arvidsson's back. Perfect. Away against Chicago. Good, a 4-1 win. Oh, this is perfect. It's all coming together. Away against Philadelphia. We need a win here, lads. Away against Philadelphia. A 4-3 loss. Away against New Jersey. A 5-2 win. Good, we managed to squeak one of them out. Away against Buffalo. A 5-2 win. Oh, this has made our lives so much easier. 41 wins on the season. Oh, perfect. And that means, hopefully, we've jumped up to a wild card spot. Only just. We've only just jumped up to a wild card spot. We are four points behind third place. We need to keep up this intensity, boys. We need to keep this up, lads. If we don't, then we're going to miss the playoffs. I'm going to go to... Oh, no, nobody wants to speak to me and play him around. Loads of guys have managed to uh, jump up overalls. Curdils, he's gone up from 82 to 84. What a steal in the free agency for me. Nice. It's like the Michael Grabner of this year. Oh, this is, this is perfect. Come on. So, injured players. We've got Mitch Marner out for three weeks. That's not a problem. So, if we just go best lines again, I want Richie to play on the second line. He's not very happy, though, at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, Felino, you can play on the second line as well. Sard, McKinnon, Shen. Shen, you're doing okay. 16 goals on the season, though. It's been a bit of an off year for our team. And then Savard, Jones, Murray, Truba, Wrensky, Herrington. Okay. So, we are going to... We are three points behind. Do we play the Islanders again this season? Do we play the Islanders again? No. So, we're going to play the first three games. We're going to go up to an away game against Pittsburgh and see where we're at. So, an away game... Uh, a home game against Washington. Home game against Washington. We lose 3-1. Ah, shit. Home game against Pittsburgh. Come on, we need to win this one. We need to win this one, lads. We need to win this one. Good, a shootout win. A home game against Carolina. We need to win this home game against Carolina. Oh, uh, first scouting assignment. Why do the scouting assignments come right at the tensest moment of the bloody game? Right, uh, scout forwards there for three weeks. Uh, an away game. Good, a 5-1 win. I think that's the first time we've beaten Carolina this season. Let's take a look. So we won two of three games there. We are still at... Oh, oh, good. We've managed to make a bit of space with the New Jersey Devils. We're four points above the New Jersey, and we're two points away from the Islanders. We, I think we're going to clinch the playoffs here, guys. I think we're going to do it. Let's go up to the game against the Flyers. So, an away game against Pittsburgh. I think if we win this, we clinch a playoff spot. Come on, beat Pittsburgh. Fuck. Okay. Ugh. That's not good. Who? Okay. Savard's back. Perfect. We're getting all of our injuries out of the way before the playoffs, hopefully. So, we've got two games left of the season. We haven't clinched a playoff spot. Yeah, we haven't. Oh, shit. The Devils are tied with us. We need to win these games, guys. Oh, my God. We need to win. 100, 107 and 103 points. Right, we're going to go period by period simulation for the last two games of the season. We need to. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, McKinnon against Couturier for the opening face-off. Come on, boys. We need this. First period. Shit. one nothing lead. Michael Del Zotto scores 30, less than 30 seconds left in the first period. 11 shots to 9 in favour of the Flyers. Second period. Okay, it's a 2-1 game. Orbe, Kubel scores on Corpusalo, but Shen scores against his former team. Times 8 simulation. Come on, Columbus. Power play for the Flyers. Power play for the Flyers. Ugh, thank goodness. Come on, Columbus. Ride that momentum and tie this game. Come on, Columbus. We need a win here, boys. Oh, Columbus, come on. Oh, gosh, this bear. Why? Oh, shit. This is coming right down to the wire. Are they going to get an empty net? Nope. Okay, so we're going to the final game of the season. Oh, Jesus. Please say we don't miss this in the final game of the season. Best lines. Oh, shit. The New Jersey Devils have taken the wild card spot. Oh, shit. But I'm back in it. So we've both got one game left to play. I need... I Oh, my God. I need to win this game. This game needs to be won. I need to, I need to take a look at these two teams because they've played 81 games. We've played 81 games. This has been such an off year for our team. So each team's got 91 points with one game left. We, we're both tied. It goes to regulation or overtime wins. So if we, win, if we both lose these games, I'm going to the playoffs. 
If we lose and they win, they go to the playoffs. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to go times that simulation for the entire bloody game. Rangers, you're my favourite team. Do me a favour. I've supported you all these years. Give me some help and let me win this game. They against Miller for the opening face-off. Come on, Columbus. We need a win here. Columbus, make it easy for yourselves. A power play. A power play. Nothing happening on the power play. Okay. Come on, Columbus. Get that first goal, Columbus. That's the most important thing. You're out shooting them like crazy. Get that first goal. Get that first goal. Get that first goal. Okay, it's nine shots to two after the first period in favour of the Blue Jackets. Second period. Let's get straight into it. Come on, Columbus. Oh, shit. They're now starting to get their shot totals up. Come on, Columbus. I'm not going to take a loss here, boys. Come on, Columbus. We need something here or at least go to overtime. We need something here, Columbus. Come on. Come on, Columbus. Shit, power play for the Rangers. Oh, thank goodness. Come on, Columbus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to the third period. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so intense. Ah! <laughs> so intense. Right, third period. Come on, Columbus. Come on, Columbus. You're out shooting them like crazy. Come on, Blue Jackets. We just need one. We just need one, Columbus, right now. Just one goal, Columbus. That's all we need. Columbus, score a goal. One of my big players. Step up. Get that goal. Come on, Columbus. I need this. Columbus, listen to me, boys. Get that goal. Yes! Nick Foligno! Yes! And we've made the playoffs! Foligno, I love you! 44 seconds left in the game. And Nick Foligno scores the goal that will take the Blue Jackets back to the playoffs for the fifth straight year. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> We managed to jump up to third place as well. Wow, we didn't even get the wild card spot. We jumped up to third place. Oh my god. Whew. Wow. Oh, that was a roller coaster of emotion there. And we will start our playoffs against the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh Jesus, this is not going to be an easy matchup for sure. My god, Braden Shen. Team performance is a non issue. I'm glad to hear it, mate. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Demanding. Guys, we need to step it up, boys. Oh, this is the year we have faced adversity this entire year. We had a very shaky regular season. But this is the year we get the job done. This is the year that the, that the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to win the Stanley Cup. Five years in, Columbus are going to win this. Our starting goaltender is healthy. We've got, we're going to put Lyndon Vey on the second line. We're going to put Nick Ritchie on the second line. We're going to put Curdils on the third line. He gets, a, he gets a line promotion. This is going to be so intense. We've got, we've got Hetherington out for one week. And we've got Marner out for nine days. So nothing too crazy here. Oh my god, this has been a roller coaster. But I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we win the Stanley Cup. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. And oh, goodbye.